So in object-oriented design and analysis and programming, there are two very important relationships. The first one is the hazard relationship. And the way we capture a hazard relationship in an object-oriented programming language is by using object composition. The second important relationship is the is a relationship. And we capture that using inheritance. Now, we'll get to inheritance later, but I just want to uh, explain these two relationships. We'll spend a lot of time doing object composition. So let's say, for example, we have a person. Uh, this would be a class that we would implement, and a person has a set of properties. And when we go to implement this class, and we're defining a private, we're defining these properties as private data members, we're using object composition. So the person's name, for example, the person has a name. And by declaring that name as a private data member, we're composing the person object using the string class and the name object. We can keep going with this and we can say, well, what other attributes or properties or characteristics does a person have? Maybe they have an address. Maybe they have they most certainly have an age. What's at issue is whether it's important to represent their age in a given application. And so we can keep doing this until we've defined all the necessary properties of a person. So again, the important thing here is to say a person has a name, a person has an address, and they have an age. Now, if we wanted to define a worker, A worker is a person. A worker also has a name, an address, and an age. Uh, they might have other properties as being uh, characteristic of their... But the, the important thing here is the, you would never say that a person has a worker. I mean, maybe if they're employing a worker. But in this case, what we're saying is we're saying that a worker is a person. And just... Informally, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that this worker is, you know, based on person. And now what we can do is because we're basing our worker class on this person class, we get this, this worker also has a name and address and an age, and then maybe, for example, they have the property uh, job title. Or they, and then they have, say for a double, they have the hourly rate. And this really illustrates these two different relationships. We can say that a worker is a person. We would never say that a worker is a job title or workers an hourly, but workers have a job title. They have an hourly rate. And in object-oriented programming, the way that we capture the hazard relationship is using object composition, which is just writing those properties and declaring those private data members in the private section. But this is a relationship where you say a worker is a person. That's a different type of relationship, and we're going to implement that using inheritance. And it Syntactically, it'll look something a little bit like this. I'm not being completely uh, formal and, and true here. But just understand that it's a very different relationship.